Are you willing to lose money marketing? Very few people would say, yes, please. I can't wait to lose money marketing. I can't wait to overinvest. But here's the thing. You will totally lose money marketing and be happy to do so. People lose money marketing all the time. They just don't know that they are. Really, you're only gonna invest in marketing for two main reasons. You wanna increase your sales, which means profits and revenue, or you wanna increase your exposure. More people know about you, they feel better about you, and they understand what you stand for. And in that situation, it's okay to overinvest. Think about it. If you're the type of business where for every dollar that you spend on sales and marketing, you need to get four, five, 10, $15 back, then you're in the first camp. You care about making sure that every dollar you spend gives you revenue, gives you profits back. But what if you're a writer? What if you're a published writer who's trying to get the next book deal, and that next book deal is a $200,000 advance? You're gonna spend money maybe marketing your brand, marketing your books. Maybe you're gonna sell your current books at a loss because the more books you sell of this one, the better your publishing deal is gonna be of the next. So you're gonna spend your 20 or $50,000 losing money right now investing in building your brand and selling your books so the next publishing deal is $200,000. Maybe you're comfortable doing that. Or maybe you're a speaker, and to build up your profile, you have to invest in flying out to all of these places and getting booked. Getting booked costs money. You have to set up a landing page, you have to start to advertise, you have to email out to people, you have to do content marketing. This all costs money. And what are you getting in return? You're not getting profits to begin with. You're not getting sales to begin with. You're getting what? Free bookings. You're going out and hustling for free. You are losing and wasting all of these dollars. So here's the thing, marketing should be focused on returning sales. You should be investing a dollar in and getting five dollars back for revenue and for profits. But you should also be considering if you're in the type of business where you need to invest and spend all of those dollars for your future growth. I'm not suggesting that you spend money in crazy television campaigns or that you try to just do these crazy brand building campaigns. That's not what it's about. But if you're the writer who needs to sell books today to get the better deal next time, you're not going to do that at a profit. You're gonna do that at a loss. If you're the public speaker who needs to get bookings, if you're the dentist who's starting a business, if you're the electrician or the plumber or whatever it is, there's a time for making sure that every dollar you spend gives you $10 back, but there's also a time for investing today to be able to build the profile, the brand, and the awareness you need to go to the next level. Now I can imagine with a topic like this, people are gonna think that I'm crazy or I'm being overly simplistic or I'm not mentioning all of the little nuances, but that's my point of view. There's only two reasons to market. And of course, like always, you have to remember to think big, you have to be bold, you have to say yes. This is super MTV-ish, man. <laughs> Isn't it? There are only two reasons that you're gonna market. 